Hello everyone. Well, the severely cold-natured 65-year-old crazy lady is um, in her backyard, in her tent, because it went down to 25 degrees last night. Felt like 2020 to 22. And that uh, was the first opportunity to check out the uh, system I have available. It's actually morning. We, I didn't totally make it through the night because I had forgotten to put on the wool sweater. I have some booties coming that will take care of the feet. Feet got cold, um, too cold for me to sleep. You know, not cold that, that they would get frostbite or anything, but so cold that I couldn't sleep. And G was having a hard time. I actually couldn't find a level place in the backyard, which is phenomenal. It's large enough you'd think you'd find a level place. So uh, we have to flip-flop his head at one end and my head at the other because of his shoulders being so broad. And so this uh, tent is not quite as wide as our other one was, but it is five pounds lighter. So, you know, we're not going back. And the only reason I'm carrying a three-person is so that he can join me in the evenings uh, to, to camp. So I guess if he wants to hike in that eight-pound marmot to uh, wherever we're going to sleep, then, you know, maybe we would consider. But anyway, the good news is I came back out this morning, and it's uh, a little bit under 30, feels like 23, and I've been here about two hours now. And while my feet are still a little cold, um, I know that'll be taken care of by the booties. I do have the wool sweater on, and um, I actually have uh, broken down and ordered a uh, icebreaker wool uh, quarter zip to wear under it due to a comment by a subscriber whose opinion I trust very much. And the other thing that I've come up with is a thing called a shemog, which I've decided to use in place of a buff. It weighs almost nothing. This one is not cotton. Most of them are cotton, but we found one that's not cotton. And um, the great thing about it in this situation, I'll just show you, my nose and breathing can get cold. And then when you stuff yourself down inside everything you have, then you suffocate. But this, I just lay it over me like this, and it's got enough airflow that I can breathe still. It's keeping my nose and my face warm. It's really great. So I'm excited about that. So that takes care of that. So I'm feeling pretty confident. We got another um, really cold nights coming soon. Even have some snow coming. So I plan on coming back out here and um, making sure that I can make it through the night, two, three, four nights in a row um, to uh, seriously consider getting out in the winter. And um, so I was thinking while I was out here, you know, why would somebody want to hike the Appalachian Trail and start in the winter? And um, I thought, well, maybe I'll talk a little bit about why I want to hike the Appalachian Trail. Um, I think hiking is a lot like other things. Once you've done it, and if you love the outdoors and being in nature, once you've done it and you find that you like it, then it's all you really want to do for your recreational activity. And so that's kind of what happened to me. And, and the thought of, um, you know, just spending day after day and night after night hiking and then the camping. I, I don't enjoy the camping part. Obviously, this is not and it's not just the weather, it, whether it's too cold or too hot or too, you know, hot and sweaty and gross feeling. It's the fact that I have had back injuries and back surgery. And so I've had to work out a way to get my back to where I don't lay flat. I can't lay flat. Don't want a hammock. Just don't like the concept of it. I like being enclosed in a tent. I just I can't get past that. So um, anyway, so I have worked out to where I actually am laying on top of my backpack. Uh, it's uh, kind of down to my waist. I'm literally wearing my backpack all night long, except that I don't have my arms in the uh, shoulder straps. So, but anyway, um, so, you know, the hiking is what I love. And um, so why wouldn't I just keep doing the little section hiking, staying in a van at night, things like that. I just want to do it. In my 20s, it would have probably been the kind of thing that I would have gone and done solo and totally solo and absolutely loved and had no fear and just really, really enjoyed. 
And uh, at this point, I just, I love the hiking. I love nature, the concept of being out, even though I don't enjoy the camping part um, because of how difficult it is for me to sleep. Um, still just being in the, in the woods. And, you know, of course we're not really in the wilderness, but, um, and I love the Appalachian Mountains. It's, it's uh, just a place that I didn't get to experience a lot as a, a younger person very few times and have always absolutely loved the mountains and always loved walking and always loved walking in the woods. So uh, that's why I want to do it. There's no big, you know, find yourself, unfind yourself, find your old self, whatever kind of thing for me. It's just... I love hiking, I love being in the woods, and the trail is there, and don't mean to use the cliche, but why am I doing it? Because it's there, and I wanna do it. So there's a lot of uh, things going against me accomplishing this physically, and uh, potentially even family-wise, but uh, you know, my, my plan is to go and stay and keep on, and, I'm not worried about the mental aspect. Uh, I already know that, that, you know, by the time you're 65, you know, if you've gotten to be a tough old bird or if you're just not able to push yourself through. And uh, so I'm not worried about the mental part. It's the physical that's going to be the challenge for me. So we're going to give it everything we have and push it as much as we can to uh, obviously not the point of injury or um, long-term sickness cause type things, illness, whatever. But um, definitely we'll continue pushing in the discomfort zone. zone. Been doing that all my life. It's not really an issue. Just haven't done it in really cold weather or really hot weather. So those are the two issues for me really cold weather and really hot weather. And why the cold? Because doggone it, I've been cold natured my whole life, avoided a lot of winter sports, and I'm really just tired of it. And I'm determined to find the, the way to do it. And uh, so having to carry the extra weight is a real pain. I would be an ultralight hiker, trust me. I would be an ultralight backpacker if uh, it would physically work for me but just got to do what you got to do and uh, so long answer to short thought but gonna do my best and try to have a great time in the process and uh, hopefully Flash is gonna be getting out there doing these short health hikes and meeting me where I'm camping and I'm doing it again as I've said I'm pretending he his van is not there I mean I really want to do this as a traditional through hiker as close to that as I can be knowing that it is there but I'm not planning on sleeping in it I'm not planning on storing in it I'm not planning on doing anything in it other than it being there for him to have for the days that he doesn't hike or if he decides it's too cold and he doesn't want to join me in the tent, then he can sleep in the van. But unless it's uh, going to be harmful to my health, I won't be bailing into that van. I'm going to be in my tent. And based on how I am today, I feel like once those booties get here and I work out a few other issues, that I'm going to be good and be able to tolerate even the really cold, frigid weather that might happen. So, going to snow one of these days, going to try that out, and um, everybody get out and hike. <laughs>